Hello everyone, well it's a SIBO Felix to unbox today. I've never unboxed a Felix on my channel. There is a very long, overly long video I did quite a while ago on my Rosso version, but that was the old higher wattage machine. This is one of the 700 watt SIBOs. Don't be confused by the picture. The model I'm going to unbox isn't the PET model, which is illustrated on the front of this box, but there are other models illustrated as well. That's the one I have, the Rosso, but uh, the one I'm opening is a Vogue. And the reason I bought this, now if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook you'll, and Twitter, I did post about an offer on eBay from a company called Co-op Electrical. And they had 20% off everything. And they, they do this once or twice a year. And when they do, I normally buy a SIBO. The last machine I bought from them when it was 20% was an X1.1. So when I saw the 20% coming up again, I thought, right, let's get the Vogue I've been hankering for. So this cost me, it was a good price anyway, but this cost me 179.99 delivered. So I think that's a bargain for a machine like this. Oh, it's not wrapped up. Mm. I do like this design, this colour scheme. Okay, right, quick look at the old energy label before we unbox. So this is the SIBO Felix Vogue Eco. The later version are called E-Power and they're a lot more expensive. But I don't think between the E-Power and this Eco there's any difference in the Felix range. So it gets an A for energy use using on average 27.5 kilowatt hours per annum. It gets a C for dust emissions. It gets a B for dust pickup from carpet, a C for dust pickup from a hard floor, and it's under the new decibel regulations. It's 79 decibels. So relatively quiet. Here is the straight suction nozzle. Now this is an upright cleaner with a revolving brush of course as you'd expect but you also have the option of using it as a straight suction cleaner so it's pretty good that way the normal head the ET1 head that comes with this you can use it on hard floors because you can turn the brush roll off but for other hard floors you can well for hard floors and delicate carpets and rugs say you've got a looped pile carpet that you're not supposed to use an upright on you can fit this SIBO combi nozzle and you've just got straight suction so being a combi it just means it's for carpets and hard floors it's got this little button here that you'd knock normally with your foot and that lowers only slightly lowers a brush at the back it doesn't stick out very far at all that brush does come out, you can remove that little tab and slide it out for cleaning. And you've got, of course, your litter pickers. You can, if you want, if you've got very delicate hard floors, you can get the parquet head, which fits on. Looks very similar, but it just has two softer um, brush strips and it's only for hard floors. But that is a quality nozzle. They supply that with some of their cylinder cleaners as well. Okay, let's take out the packaging. Well, here are the two tools. It doesn't come with a dusting brush as most SIBOs don't as standard. The D series does. This doesn't so you just, has, uh, you just have a nice crevice tool, a nice long full-sized crevice tool and you've got your upholstery slash stair tool. And with that comes, and I don't really do this with mine, I just think it spoils the look, but there is this little holder so this actually fits onto the handle here enabling you to store these two small tools on board and it fits on there but personally as i say it, it looks nicer without so i tend to leave it off but if you want to have that option of keeping them always to hand you can do right. i do like this color this color scheme this I've always liked white SIBOs. I've got quite a nice collection of white ones. So you've got the Arctic white body shell and this fabric, it's a hard case underneath, but this fabric is your diffuser and exhaust filter and you can get it in a number of different designs. But I like this, it's, it's classical, simple, classic. So we'll just move that out of the way. 
It has an extra long 10 meter cable, which is good. And I do recommend the Felix. If people press me and say, a bagged, recommend a bagged upright vacuum cleaner, it's so hard to recommend one particular machine. But um, there's not many bagged vacuum cleaners you can buy nowadays, but out of all of them, the Felix for me, it has a disadvantages. I'm not saying it's perfect, but for me, it is one of the best bagged upright cleaners you can buy. My mum's got one, it must be at least 12 years old, still going strong, so they're reliable. Very short hose, so it's not a stair cleaner, but the whole unit does detach from the base and you can carry it. You can even buy a carry strap for it, so you can go up your stairs um, with the machine strapped to your back if you want to. But it's always on board and it just means you can just pull it off and then the suction will always come through the hose and you can just whip up some a bit of dirt in a corner and pop it back very quick and easy to do so that will need attaching now this is what uh, i didn't realize you got until um, a fellow collector who also took advantage of the co-op offer seamus um, he posted on my facebook that i said i bought this and he said snap and he's very impressed with his so far and he did mention the air fresheners you didn't used to get these but now certainly in this packet we get ah and they're a different smell wow i thought they were the normal lime ones they'd used to do one in a sort of a purpley color um uh, lang lang liang lang 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 smell which i did like and i've only been able to get the lime but these are called orangina sun unless oh probably they are lime aren't they they just named them orangina sun there might be a different smell, I don't know. But anyway, those pop inside the dust bag to help uh, keep it uh, smelling fresh. Or you can, you, if you don't want to put it in the bag, you could possibly put it underneath the bag. But they don't tend to last very long in my experience. Got the instruction manual, of course. This has a standard five year parts and labor guarantee. So last thing to come out is the ET1 Powerhead, very good Powerhead. They supply this with the E1 Premium, the K3 Premium, no, the E3 Premium, the K3 Premium, and the D4 Premium. Isn't that smart? Though? I just really like this gray and white color scheme. Okay, let's get rid of the box and we'll assemble this SIBO Felix. Assembly isn't too complex. All we have to do is attach the head and the hose. I'll just show you how the other nozzle attaches as well. Fits on the same way as the power head. So this is the combi head, so it just slides in. It's all very well made. You can tell you've got quality in your hands when you unbox the SIBO. Just clicks in like that. So we've got straight suction, as I said, for delicate floors, delicate carpets, and lightweight rugs so that as standard with this the other models they do differ the pet version does come with a turbo nozzle as well and um, I think the Rosso does as well as far as I can remember this is the most economical SIBO Felix the cheapest one you can get right so to attach the motor unit to the ET1, you just slide it in until it clicks. Very lovely, very well put together. I do like these machines. And where is the hose? The hose, just got to clip that into the top. So the black end of the hose fits into the top of the bag housing. Just push it until it clicks. The handle end of the hose goes into the hose socket here at the base of the bag housing. So just push it down until it's in place. And then you just clip the hose to the side of the cleaner. There's a check bag indicator at the top of the bag housing that will fluctuate orange as you're using the machine. If there's a blockage, it will turn all orange and it will gradually show orange as the bag fills. To gain access to the bag, you simply lift this lever here and the bag lifts out. You can actually seal the top to keep the dust in as you're carrying it to the bin and then slot in a new bag. And underneath the bag, in the bag housing, there is another filter, the pre-motor. 
and that just lifts out. That's supposed to be replaced from time to time and right underneath there you won't be able to see it but there is the suction motor so we'll pop that back in until it clicks and slide the bag in. Obviously if you try to use it without the bag it won't allow you to close the bag door and you also have to make sure that the bag is fitted correctly. You need to line it up. That little tab goes there at the front. That seems to be seated, so now I should be able to close it. There we go. You can adjust the height of the handle using this lever here. So when you get it, it'll be in the highest position. But you can move it down, right down, to the lowest setting. You can use it in that position if you want, or if you're storing it in a cupboard that's got a little less height, you can store it in that position. You can wrap around the cord, whichever height you've got it on, the cord will wrap around the top hook and the lower hook here. So that's the lowest position, and then we can go to the intermediary setting, which is the next one up. Just split up until it clicks in place. Or for normal use, if you're quite short, you might find this position more comfortable. But for normal use, you can pull it right out. There we go, until it's clicked in position, till that lever is flush with the rest of the unit. The on-off switch is conveniently located on the handle. To switch the machine on, you simply push it forward. If you want full power, push it to the max position, or you can alter the suction just by sliding the dial. So that changes the speed of the motor. So you can have it on low when using the cleaning tools for lightweight dusting, or if you're cleaning a lightweight rug, or for deep intensive cleaning of carpets, you can slide it to maximum. Unlike SIBO's Automatic X series, the Felix uses a manual carpet height adjustment. So you can have setting one for very low pile, setting two for low to medium, setting three for medium to long, and the highest setting for your long pile carpets. You've got an indicator here, so if the setting is too high for the carpet, that indicator will show red. When it's operating efficiently, the indicator will glow green. If you get anything caught in the brush roll, if you suck up a sock that you haven't seen under a bed, the brush roll will stop automatically and the red light will come on. All you have to do is remove the obstruction, switch the machine on and off again, and it should work. If you want to use this on a hard floor and you don't want the rotating brush, you can press this button here and that turns off the motor in the brush roll. If you've seen my SIBO Felix maintenance video, you'll know how easy these cleaners are to maintain. And to access the brush roll, you don't need any tools. It's just a push of a button here. So just press that in and then you can remove the end cap. That just comes off and then the whole brush roll will slide out. This uses the same brush roll as the Automatic X series. This is the standard brush roll fitted. It's got very stiff brushes. This cleaner is ideal for pet hair removal. But if you've got delicate carpets or hard floors, you can buy an optional soft brush roll, which normally has green brushes. And that just fits the same way as this. So you can slide out the hard brush roll and pop in the more delicate brush roll. And underneath, You've got access here, there's a little flap. If there's a blockage, you can open that and check for blockages. It's um, 175 watts, the power head. That's the separate motor, and I believe the suction motor is a 700 watt machine. So it's twin motored, which does enable you, as I said, to turn off the brush roll if you don't want it spinning, but you'll still have the suction. So we'll just pop the uh, brush roll back in. It so slides in very easily and then the end cap goes back on. Just line it up with the spindle. There we are, that's in. And then you lock it in place just by pushing it down. The rating sticker is located just under the hose. And yes, I can confirm it's a 700 watt suction motor. With my previous SIBO Felix, when you remove the hose from the bottom of the bag housing, the brush roller automatically stops even if it's in the operating position because it had a micro switch located here. I've noticed on this new model, they've done away with the micro switch. So when you remove the hose and the machines in the operating position, the brush roll will continue to rotate. It's only when you put the machine in the upright position 
does the brush roll stop? Of course you can stop the brush roll yourself using the on off button. I won't be doing a full demo in this video, this was just the unboxing and the initial first look. If you want to see a very comprehensive video on my previous SIBO Felix the Rosso, you'll find that in my SIBO playlist. But um, this will perform very similar, it is a slightly lower wattage motor but I think the performance will be on par with that. But um, I thoroughly recommend these machines even without a demo, I do know what they're like, they're reliable. They're very nice to use, but it's horses for courses. If you can try one out in a shop, independent retailers sell this. John Lewis normally sell them. Try it out first. Some people can't get on with the way it operates, but you know, I think it's a very good machine. I'll just give it a quick go over this rug. I'll, I've got it on a setting higher than I'd normally use. It's on setting three and I think I'll have a lower suction level. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this SIBO Felix Vogue or any SIBO vacuum cleaner, please ask in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help. So stay tuned for the demonstration coming up soon and don't forget to check out my back catalogue if you're interested in vacuum cleaner, carpet washers and other floor care appliances. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video which will include a full demonstration of this SIBO Felix. So until the next time I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.